Good morning, everyone. My name is Scott Morris. I'm the Director of Business Development for Gaming for GTS Distribution. Really do appreciate everybody taking the time to join us. I hope, first and foremost, above everything else, I hope everyone is healthy. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone is safe and that you, your families, your coworkers, everyone is doing well. It has been a crazy trying time right now in terms of everything going on in the world, let alone in the U.S. So really do appreciate everybody taking the time to come talk to us today about what we've got going on, um, and we've got quite a bit going on. Um, so if you're unfamiliar, the smiling young gentleman to my front or my left is Mike Young. <laughs> he is the U.S. representative for Plan B Games. Uh, most of you are familiar with Plan B Games. They have a very large lineup and a very broad catalog because they consist of both Plan B Games, as well as Pretzel Games, as well as Spiel Games, and Next Move Games. Um, and you've probably had several uh, of their games in your stores between Great Western Trail, between Azul, between Junk Art, between Men at Work, all different lots of things that are available. Um, Azul obviously being the most well-known one because of the Spiel des Gars win a couple of, uh, couple of years ago. And we're talking today about something that actually goes with Azul, which is really cool. And Mike, you can correct me on this if I say it wrong or anything, but it's kind of both a accessory and an expansion. And what we're gonna talk about is Crystal Mosaic, which was just released on March 19th. Um, if you were at Gamma, you may have seen some, some stuff about it, some advertisements about it. Um, and then we started shipping. Yeah, there's the box that looks great. Um, so I'll let Mike talk about kind of the details and what it is, but this is a really good thing. If you sell a lot of Azul, which a lot of stores do, uh, if you sell a lot of Azul, this is a good thing to know about and position with your people who have uh, bought the base game of Azul for sure. So um, we're also going to talk about a couple of other things, but I don't want to spoil any uh, thunder or take anything away from Mike. So I'll let him bring <laughs> them up as we go along. As always, everything's on the table. Any kind of questions anyone would like to ask, feel free to let us know. There is a chat window that you can click on on the bottom of your screen, uh, or if you're on a mobile device, you can just click on the little menu button and it'll be there. Yep. Uh, feel free to ask any kind of questions you like. As always, Mike, you don't have to worry about the window. I'll monitor the chat window. So if we have questions, I can bring them up and kind of work them into conversation. So, um, sure. and also, you know, with you as well, appreciate your time, sir. You know, I know it's kind of crazy with uh, your wife's work and everything going on at home and kids and we're all kind of juggling flaming chainsaws at the same time, but I really appreciate <laughs> taking the time and coming and talking to the retailers. So uh, with that, Mike, I will let you take over and I will take my face that was made for radio and let it be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey guys. So uh, I'm Mike Young, obviously. Um, I prepared just a brief presentation here, um, but I want to make sure that uh, if you guys have any questions, you're obviously very welcome to reach out to me directly. Uh, email is mike at planbgames.com. Um, let me share my screen real quick here. I'm going and to put your uh, email into the uh, chat window just so everybody has it. What a presentation mode. Fancy. There you go. All right. So um, I want to talk just a little bit about uh, our upcoming releases. Everything here is really on a shifting timetable. Uh, I know that, um, like you guys, everyone's been infected by uh, COVID-19 and uh, I wish I could give you hard street dates and exact moments that this stuff's going to be delivered into your stores and it's going to be available to your customers. Um, so just work with us on this uh, as best we can. We'll give you, uh, through GTS, updated information as to when to expect these things. Um, just a little bit about me. If you guys didn't know, uh, I'm with uh, Plan B. I'm with Lead Communications. That's kind of PR, marketing, event organization, community management, blah, 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 blah. You know, fairly nice guy, dad and husband. I have to include that with everything um, and more. So um, I'll talk a little bit later in here about some opportunities to work with retailers because um, we really do have an evolving uh, market space here and, and opportunities that um, I want to reach out to our retailers to find ways to make stronger connections with them. Uh, we'll get to that in just a little bit, but um, just know that I'll be your primary point of contact for that. Um, first of all, I, uh, I, I, I hesitated about doing a, an April Fool's joke through our social media channels, but I really, really uh, certainly appreciate a laugh, and I think now more than ever we could use it. So if you see any of these announcements, Century, Sliced Road, Golem Edition, Tiny Junk Art, Little, Great Western, Tra Little Western Trail, The Coloring Book, Rojo, these are all bogus. Uh, I don't think anyone will be asking for them. 
But, uh, if, if How much they, do you want to bet on that? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm looking at our feed and we're like, I would buy it if it was available or I just I, called I've my retailer. Had two, I've had two retailers reach out to me saying, is Rojo for real? Like, is that really happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we deal them too good, I guess. But These are, but, these are good, lighthearted jokes, though. <laughs> yeah. I, I Hopefully it won't cause you any distress. Uh, but maybe if it makes your customer pick up the phone and reach out to you, they at least know where you are and you can capitalize on that. Uh, so first thing is, as uh, Scott was mentioning, we have Crystal Mosaic that just came out. I love Crystal Mosaic because as Scott mentioned, it's an expansion, it's accessory. I call it an expansessory. I've just made up a word. Um, this was highly requested by friends. People complain that their tiles would get knocked and loose. Um, and we saw a lot of third party products picking up this with like uh, acrylic uh, overlays that cost 20 or 30 bucks. Um, they weren't really up to snuff in terms of what our standards would be. Um, I ordered some, they were miscut. So we decided to go ahead and, and help out uh, retailers and, and we saw an opportunity for ourselves here uh, to include this. So what this is in here is, is a a set of four overlay boards so that you can make sure your tiles are displayed perfectly on your board. They won't get knocked around. They won't get shuffled. But you'll also see that uh, it includes uh, double-sided boards, new ones, so that it creates a little bit of variability um, for your gameplay. Uh, this, these aren't game-breaking things. These are just new ways to play uh, Azul. And what I like about this is that um, the price point's cheap. I think it's $12.99 or $14.99. It, yeah, um, it is. Uh, it's twelve ninety nine euro. It's fourteen ninety nine US. Uh, ah, yep. <laughs> so, so what, what? But what you'll see here is that like you have a huge market base. Azul sold over a million units in the world. Uh, you'll find a huge marketplace for this. Any Azul fans, especially looking for some variety uh, at a reasonable price point that also has some functionality, this gives it to them. Um, so your your audience to to cater to would be that, and there, it's an easy add on sale too. If someone who you know, who gamers, if you like me, you're very OCD, you want things to be in a particular order and, and set, this is a great way to do it. Um, and at the price point, I think it's perfect. So you'll find this uh, as of last week, two weeks ago, it yeah, should be uh, available through GTS. <clears throat> yeah, March 19th was our release date for it. Um, and yeah, I, I have to admit, when we first saw the game, um, you know, the, the double-sided boards are awesome, right? Because it gives players a whole new way to play the game, whole new thing to discover. Um, but then adding in the molded trays as well is absolutely phenomenal because I cannot tell you how many times uh, my local game group has played Azul <laughs> and our cat has jumped on the table and knocked those tiles out of place. So yeah, that's, that's very, very helpful for sure. Yeah, and, and I, I've seen, like, I've had fans ask us a lot, you know, when will we see new content? I mean, I, I like Crystal, or I, excuse me, I like Summer Billion, I like this, but but I really like this. Will we see more stuff for it? Well, yeah, if we can find meaningful ways to introduce uh, new content or make the game relevant, we're going to go for it. And, and this is a, a no-brainer for us. That's a great statement, actually, to, to be able to release something that's relevant for the game, right? You're not just making more Azul for the sake of making more Azul, you're actually making something that will allow the people who have already invested in the game get more from the game, right? And that's that's pretty important, I think. Right, and, and being three or four years old, I mean, we've done this, and I think we've done the Joker tiles, a small mini expansion. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then I think uh, there was a small mini expansion with one of the German publications with the Deutschspieler, but- yeah, um, we did, yeah, we had no access to that one, of course. <laughs> <laughs> But Somehow we don't get saying, a lot of demand is, for German language games in America. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, I, I think, is a no-brainer. I, I, um, I enjoy it quite a bit, um, and it was fun to make and, and work with Mr. Keesling on. So awesome. uh, definitely take advantage of this. Uh, it's a good offering for, for fans of Azul because it's priced perfectly. Um, I had a question come through, and I'm not sure if you have it in your... Um, in your presentation or not. Uh, someone had asked if they could see the, the boards the, yeah. the uh, sides of the board just to kind of see the difference in kind of what they are. Um, if yeah, you let me uh, physical take it off. There, um, if you have the physical one there, just yes. stop doing your, I'm going to stop your presentation. That way people can see your, your face. Yep, there you go. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a vacuum form plastic uh, and it literally sits over, let me get that right in front of the camera. Yep. You can see it fits right over the board so it keeps it nice and secure. Yep. So um, 
and you can see the indentations, the groove. I'm just trying to give us a, a little bit of light on there so you can see it. But yep. the recess, just enough so that your tiles don't slide around. Uh, they weigh virtually nothing, which yeah. is nice because some of the acrylic ones add a lot of heft to your game. Um, if you check out your insert from the original game, you can put the new boards, the overlays, the original boards all in that box. Um, if you're like me, I, I could care less about inserts. So this is going to be headed towards my box soon. Nice. Very good. Awesome. Thank you for that. And then uh, if you want to get back to the presentation, you can just hit the share button at the bottom and you'll be good to go. Yep. All right. Uh, moving on. Let me go to presentation mode. Whoops. Uh, we have uh, bees, which is uh, it, it's going to be a moving target right now because it's ex it was originally expected for Origins 2020. I don't know if that's going to hit just because of the production delays that, we'll, that we're seeing out of Asia um, with our printers. I don't know uh, if Origins is even going to happen this year. But that said, uh, if we need to, it, it's still expected summer at the very latest, probably fall. But uh, it's going to run $39.99 for MSRP. This is uh, the next hot title from Next Move Games. So uh, it's going to be in the same studio as Azul, as Reef, as uh, Tukey. Um, anyone who's a big fan of abstracts uh, will find this, and if, uh, if I can toot our graphic de uh, design and our illustrators' uh, horns a little bit, these guys are amazing. The, the cover is outstanding. The components in the, in the game are wonderful. Um, one of the hallmark features of the Next Move line is to have really simple, low overhead rules, get you into the game having fun as quick as possible. Uh, you'll learn the game within five minutes, and they'll be playing... Uh, and, and scoring within, you know, the game will be over within 30. It's uh, it's really fun. I, I like the theme a lot because um, bees apparently are, are a hot thing the last couple, maybe the last year. Um, but you'll you'll find that there's a really interesting mechanism where uh, you control bees to go around. You're trying to collect nectar to score points, but you how you control your bee is also how you're going to score the nectar that you collect. It's it's uh, unlike anything I've seen. And it's while well, it's not complicated, there's a lot of wrinkles into those decision making. So um, I would look forward to seeing this, fingers crossed, this summer, uh, if not in the fall. And Mike, if you're okay with it, I'm actually going to steal your sharing for your screen real quick. And I am going to show on my screen, um, if everyone can see it, I wanted to share some of the pictures of the, the actual, like, prototype stuff that we're looking at here for the bees, yes. right? These are, these are, they're not glass. Uh, that's the number one question that I get asked about <laughs> this whenever someone sees this, because it is a very like shiny professional kind of glare on that from, from the picture and everything. Um, but they are plastic. They're not glass. Yes. Um, there's been a, a couple of people who have been a little worried about that in terms of, you know, what, what's going to come through on the shipments or anything like that. Um, right. But the game is absolutely gorgeous. It, it's a game that, it's one of these things that when you see it on a table and especially if you were to put like a demo unit out or anything like that, people are going to see it and they're going to immediately want to know what is going on. Like I, I can tell there's maybe some things here that represent pollen. There's maybe, you know, bees moving around the board. Um, but then you get into, you know, the different player boards, you get into the movement of your bees and how you move around. And we were, we were really impressed by this one in terms of, like you said, the graphical nature of it, but then also the fact that it does have a good amount of meat behind it but not so much meat that it's like an hour or two hours or anything like that. You can no. be done in like 30 minutes, which is really cool. Right. And, and one of the things that um, we, we try to do, especially for retailers is um, for marketing purposes, we really wanted to lean into um, Azul's product packaging and make sure that it's very evocative so that they can make some strong associations between Azul and bees because they're both on the same imprint. They're both on the same line. Um, hoping that uh, it could really capture the interest of your um, of your consumer. They they walk in there and they know Azul and they can see this and go, wow, okay, I get this. This is from the uh, this is from the same company. I can see the the small little breadcrumbs that leads me there. That's awesome. Okay, I will stop stealing your screen and I will let you take it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's I'm all also, good. So. Just so everyone does know, um, we have been told by Plan B that Origins is very much at risk in terms of the shipping time frame, not the show itself, but the, the shipping time frame. So we're working with them. We, we meet with Plan B on almost a weekly basis. So we're working to make sure we get the, you know, not just the manufacturing piece of it done correctly, but the shipping piece of it handled correctly. And 
Uh, right now, I believe we still have orders due on our website for about maybe 45 or 50 days from today. Um, but as that gets updated, we'll be updating that as well. So you'll just want to be paying attention to the website or keeping in touch with your DTS sales rep. So um, that's a good question. Derek, I, I don't know the answer to this one. I should, I don't. Uh, Derek asked, the bees look great. How tall are they? So the pieces with the honeycomb, I want to say they're only about maybe like an inch and a half or two yeah, inches. Yeah, about an inch and a half. I, I mean, I'd have to double check it, but um, the, um, the form factor that we use for our box uh, is going to be standard across the board. So it's going to be no taller than one and three quarters. Okay. So yeah, about one and a half, I would assume. Yeah. Okay. Great. Awesome. All right. So that's bees. Um, keep your eyes open for that because I, I really think this one, because as photogenic as it is and as, um, as fun as it is and quick as it is, I really think this one's going to take off and it's very interesting and unique. So uh, next up is um, the era expansion. We haven't finalized the title, but um, I think we're leaning for roads and rivers. Um, what this is doing is bringing a lot more game and a lot more buildings to uh, era as it stands. Um, I think it's including 10 more unique buildings found in there and, and structures. So you're gonna see roads and rivers and how those um, then will influence your, your decision-making as a player. It's really cool. Uh, and just brings the game more to life, if you will, um, with with common things that you'd find in a in a city or in a domain. Um, there's a cool campaign mode that you'll find in here. It's it's not a very deep campaign mode. It's not one that's going to keep you up at night and you're going to replay. But uh, it's intended to introduce the new mechanisms so that you're familiar with. Uh, so whoever whoever your um, player is is going to be familiar with this uh, by the time they're through with the four or five of that's in there. Um, like I mentioned, more toy factor. We have one of the best modelers, I think, 3D modelers and sculptors uh, in the business doing these because those components are incredible. Um, I should have I should have included a picture of it in the slide, but there are some uh, amazing looking pieces that are coming out of this. Uh, and I think um, the intention here is to bring it out at Gen Con 2020. Again, we have a shifting timetable with a lot of things but we may have one more surprise. We're talking about it internally. We haven't mentioned it even, I don't think we mentioned it to GTS yet, but we have one more surprise that uh, we may include in that box. Uh, uh, I'll just leave it at this. We, we've heard a lot of uh, common criticism from the game and I wonder if that could address it in this expansion. I don't know. Willing to bet I know what that might be. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, but, uh, actually, if you like, I actually have a couple of pictures from the Eggert Spiel uh, Facebook page. Um, so I can actually, I yeah. can steal your screen again here and I can pull them up uh, and hopefully these will come up and look really good. Yep, all right, so let's kind of, oops, let's not do that. Let's do that and get rid of that and open up here. So these are the roads, as you can see from you know the, the cobblestone and the connectivity and everything. Um, the roads are also gonna have bridges which can connect to them, which I think are absolutely gorgeous and it's really, really cool. And you may look at it and say, why is this so high? Like, why is that such a steep hill? I don't think I would want to climb up that <laughs> as a regular person. Um, but the reason for that is because you have rivers that will go underneath um, and the rivers will go under those bridges. And I think, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a picture of, yeah, there's a picture right here that shows a really good shot. Um, if my Microsoft Paint would work, there we go. Um, shows how the, the bridge will go over the river itself. And of course, there's different scoring pieces for all that and different different things. The gates are also new, which are really, really cool. Um, I know a lot of people, they did really, really well with Era last year, not just for how good the game was, but for how good the miniatures were in terms of like painting them and, and like wanting to, you know, have something that looks unique for their 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 gameplay. I did have one person tell me that they thought it was kind of funny. You guys may have made the first miniature that nobody wants to paint because the water looks so good. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it's kind of that clear yeah. acrylic color, right? So yeah, it was, it was really cool. Um, and then here's a good shot of the gate as well. Um, and there's also uh, in the, um, in the expansion, there's also additional buildings, not just the, the roads and the bridges, but like here's one of the new building that's going to be coming out. Um, and all of this has been shared publicly on, on Edgar Spiel's Facebook page as well. So yep. really, really good detail. Yeah, when you were talking about your modeling guy and how good they are, 
very, very good detail. I mean, you can just see like the flags and little stones in here and everything. Like really, yeah, I, I love the card right there in the center. It's 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 just really. I mean, it's like it's evocative and looks great on the table. Yeah, uh, I've seen some miniature painters who who went to town on this, and it's like it blows my mind how good uh, of job that the, that the community's done with it. That's awesome. Okay, I will give you back screen sharing, and you can take over again. <laughs> Perfect. We're like the road warriors. We're you're, you're Hawk, I'm Animal, and we're the tag team champions. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, that's a reference uh, that half the people will get. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm, I'm from the 80s, so. Uh, so um, uh, next up for Plan B games, we're going to see Century Golem Eastern Mountains uh, hit retail uh, next year. Again, it's intended for... I think release in August. Um, if you haven't uh, been living under a rock, you've heard of Century in the last couple of years. It's it's really our flagship title for Plan B, um, brought to us by Emerson Matsuuchi. Uh, we designed this to do a Spice and a Golem edition, and then there was some all kinds of craziness going on with the Golems. We weren't sure if it'd be popular enough. Then we did a small release, and we went to retail, uh, and we weren't going to plan on doing expansions or I should say um, sequels to it but uh, fans really wanted it, so it, it made sense to us. Uh, so we've seen uh, Century Golem Eastern Mountains released last year. Gen Con, it was a web shop exclusive for the last year. We'll see it in retail soon. Uh, big selling point here is that if you got any Century fans, any Golem fans, this is insta-buy status. They are, I, I can assure you through all my interactions on social media and Reddit and BGG, people love the Golems. They love the manga and the art style. Um, it's just much more uh, bright and colorful than the Mediterranean spice trading version of the game. Um, obviously, huge interest in, the, in these titles. And one of the cool features that um, can be helpful uh, when selling this is that it's a mixable game, means that I can take Century 1 and Century 2, if I have the same uh, edition, and I can mix them and create a brand new game with a unique rule set. So you're getting a little extra value in your box. And when the third one comes out, you would have up to, I think, a total of seven mixable games between the three between the three of them and unique games so uh really good opportunity for people who don't want to stretch the budget too far or maybe you want to dig deeper with their expansions you know or if you're like me closet space is always an issue i'd rather have seven games that take up the size and footprint of three versus seven so um and they all feel very film you know familiar they they feel like century and emerson's done an incredible job with the uh, with the rules integration for all the combined games. So I think that this is going to be another winner for retailers. You should see this, uh, like I said, August or so. Then next up. Oh, you know what? Uh, I, my apologies. I did not include a slide for Alma Mater. I, I was swapping computers. So I wonder if I have an old edition of the, of the presentation. Alma Mater. Um, is the next Eggertspiel title. That was intended for Gen Con 2020 as well. Um, Alma Mater is, um, I'll ask if Scott can grab a, a box cover, um, but Alma Mater you'll see is, uh, is gonna be very evocative of Coimbra. It's the same design team. Half, a, half of Alma Mater's designers are the same designers as Coimbra, same artist, obviously the same publisher, but um, you'll see that uh, Alma Mater is a, a spiritual successor of sorts. Uh, and I compare it very much to like Zolkin, to Teotihuacan, where you have the, a very similar theme, uh, but different use of the game mechanisms. Uh, being an Eggert Spiel, this is more your connoisseur game. It's gonna be designed and, and oriented for your gamers game, uh, if you will. But uh, it's gonna be very clever card, base game with beautiful art from uh, from Chris Williams. And you can see some of the components here. We'll have miniature books. And let's see, there we go. There's the, the board uh, itself and then a cell sheet for you guys. Basically, you're, you're, you're gonna be serving as headmasters to a university, hoping to attract the best students, the best staff, and ultimately the most prestigious university out there. It sounds very much like a Euro game. It really is, but it looks uh, as beautiful as Coimbra, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, which I think was one of the big selling points of Coimbra because it just looks great on the table. It's stunning. 
It's funny because the um, when we first got the information here, and, and this is kind of the component shots of everything, you see these <laughs> books here. And um, the books have a big part to your bookshelf and these little kind of indented pieces right here. And um, Plan B told us, they're like, wait, just wait till you see the books. Like the books are made <laughs> gorgeous. And uh, just yesterday, Eggert Spiel posted the, um, the pictures of the books. These are the actual pieces right here. Uh, with some professional photos and they just they they're adorable right they're they're one of those pieces that the collector mentality and that that itch from the the consumers that want a collector mentality they're they're going to trigger in pretty quickly i think with stuff like that i think it's really really cool looking stuff the other thing too is that this is designed by the same people that did coimbra which did extremely well last year uh, and also Lorenzo Il Magnifico, which is one of the more popular games from a uh, Euro side on the market right now. So it's got a good pedigree, both from a, a designer standpoint and an artist standpoint and from a publisher standpoint. Yep, no, exactly. Well-spoken and, and uh, you know, there's, I, I'm as a gamer and I can tell you your, your audiences are very much the same way. They're gonna love the toy factor and the wow factor and just, they're so boring. Um, looking at some of the old dry euros and beiges. So to have some color and some genuine soul put into it, uh, I think you'll, I think your, um, your consumers will really, really appreciate it. We love uh, working on these. So, oops, awesome. let me go back to presentation. Yep. And that's it for, uh, for new titles. Um, the one thing uh, that I wanted to kind of just mention uh, towards the end here with the impacts of COVID-19, a lot of things are on shifting timetables. I know that you guys get this and uh, we totally feel for you. Um, what we're hoping to do is, is because we typically rely on conventions to help generate a lot of uh, interest and buzz uh, for our titles, but um, we're building some contingency plans. We've actually built some, um, which we hope to, you know, if social spaces are, are at that point shareable, if, if you guys are open for business and can use play areas, we've been considering uh, utilizing FLGSs in different ways to kind of help market these games, find ways to connect with you so that um, we can get more products into your hands, whether they're demo titles or getting our demo team out there to help present for a, a day, an afternoon, a weekend. Uh, to work with you to uh, obviously be successful in, in selling these titles, but also get them the attention they need. Uh, so with this going on, um, what I would say is uh, keep in touch with us. You have my email there. Uh, if it's something that you're interested in, um, we're just, we're, we've been spending the last year building a demo team um, from all of our conventions and touching base with them to see if they could be utilized uh, locally if they'd be if they'd want to I'm not going to obviously force them to but um, but something like how a double uh, double exposure envoy would send demo teams out we would give them resources to help promote give you guys resources to make sure that it's known obviously tagging you and sharing on social media uh, we would want to do really cool blitz events but again that's assuming that um, these shared spaces are available so just know that um, We'll be looking to strengthen our partnerships with obviously GTS and with retailers uh, to help us make your customers have really unique and good experiences with a groomed demo team and presenting uh, some of our great titles coming out later this year. Um, also, um, one of the things that we're doing is, is evaluating organized play potentially for 2021. Um, we were in the works with one, but um, the timing just isn't right with everything that's going on in the world right now. But uh, we're hoping that we could launch this um, next year. Uh, we haven't got a point contact yet. We're going to hire someone specifically to help uh, help uh, specifically retailers with organizing plays. But we're talking like tournaments or uh, events that you can bring uh, people to your shop, um, demo goodies. Uh, a lot of things in flux, but trying to reduce the cost so that it's as, as little of an impact on you as possible, um, because it's really, it, it helps generate interest in our games, but also helps keep the FLGS as a destination for where people should be going and spending their money. So um, just keep in mind, that's stuff that, that's coming down the pipeline. And as things trickle out, I will make sure that GTS knows to reach out to you guys uh, for anyone who would be interested in that. Sure. That's awesome. Thank you. And I've, I've had a little bit of a sneak peek into some of the uh, organized play and I can tell everybody that when that comes out, that's going to be probably one of the best handled ones. It's really, really good looking from what I've seen so far. So 
Um, we've, we've had a couple we've, of, we've, I was going to say, we oh, had go, a, I, was, I was just going to say, go for it. Yeah, I had a couple of questions come in. I just wanted to address them real quick. Um, uh, Derek had asked if the uh, all the games that we just talked about are available on the GTS website for pre-order. They are. Um, Crystal Mosaic is obviously already released, and that's available, so that that's in stock in our warehouses right now. Um, we actually got that literally the week before everything started to kind of go crazy in America, so that was really good timing. Um, but uh, Era the Expansion, Bees, Century Golem Eastern Mountains, and Alma Mater are all online as well. I put them into the chat windows. I'll make sure to also put them into the video description when we post it on YouTube later so that if uh, anyone doesn't grab it here for any reason, you can grab it there. Um, Derek also asked a really good question. I think I know the answer. I'll let you answer this, Mike. But um, does Plan B or any of the sister studios have an online retailer marketing assets folder like logos, pictures? Yeah. Videos, so this is like this is something we, we haven't developed yet. We, we share a lot of stuff with GTS. Um, one of the things that um, I'm hoping to do, and it's and it's been uh, honestly, it's been a little bit in the back burner. So my apologies. Um, but uh, I really want just a shared um, uh, folder on um, what, what I'm, I'm trying to think of the Dropbox? like Dropbox account where, where, where it's just accessible for media content creators and well as retailers just to be able to collect stuff. And uh, a one-stop shop like that with just universal access doesn't hurt anyone. And I think it would benefit you guys because um, I don't want you to have any problems selling our titles or promoting our, our merchandise. So um, I'll make sure I bring it up with the team that we're on quarantine uh, in Canada. So um, hopefully someone's got some downtime that I can maybe suggest that uh, and maybe work on it. If we do, um, I'll make sure that we talk to Scott and talk to GTS to make sure that um, the retailers that they're selling to has access to that. Um, it would probably be the most effective way to get it out there. Yeah, the majority um, of the pictures that we do receive from Plan B, we'll put them on the product pages. So if you look up the product pages, you'll see four or five or so shots of the, the products, like the bees one that we showed earlier, that was directly from our website and everything. So that that's usually a very, very easy, quick way to get pictures for that. Um, in terms of videos, um, we actually usually don't get the videos, but the videos are usually posted to the Facebook pages. Um, right. We've seen um, on all four uh, pretzel games, next move games, plan B games and uh, Eggerspiel. Um, that was where I showed the uh, books from for Alma Mater was from Eggerspiel's Facebook page. Um, they do a really good job of uploading videos there. Um, there are a couple of really, really good videos actually available for bees and for Alma Mater right now um, that are very, very short, like one minute kind of commercial videos. Um, those are not hosted with us, but I can also kind of talk to, um, you know, Mike and, and the plan B team and see if that's something we might be able to at least link to from the webinar YouTube page that we have and, and get them on there as well. So, yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. And, and I, uh, I really do appreciate Derek bringing that up because, um, it's something I think is a good best practice. So, uh, it makes sense to me. Sure. Awesome. Well, that's all the questions that have come in, but I want to take a second and just thank everybody. Um, it's, crazy times and there's a lot of you know danger in the world right now as if there wasn't enough danger before in the world but really do appreciate everybody taking the time to come and, and ask these questions and, and learn about this information plan b is one of our best partners if not the best partner they do a tremendous job across all their lines i know you made the comment earlier i don't want anyone to have trouble selling the games the reality is most of your games do a very good job of selling on their own which is really good so um, but really do appreciate everybody taking the time to come and, and visit with us. Mike, I really appreciate you taking the time to come and talk. If anyone missed it earlier, just in case, um, Mike did give out his email address in case anyone wants to ask any kind of follow-up questions. Um, it's really simple. It's just Mike at planbgames.com. Uh, and then you can always reach me as well. Uh, I'm really easy. It's just S Morris at gtsdistribution.com. Uh, but really do appreciate it. I want to wish everybody the best. I hope everyone stays safe. Uh, I know it's a very challenging time frame, but uh, health is the most important thing. So uh, with that, we will let you go and we will see you next week. Have a great week in your stores. <laughs>